Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install Fedora on VirtualBox step by step. Fedora is a powerful Linux distribution, perfect for developers, system administrators, or even just tech enthusiasts. If you're ready to get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. First things first, we need to download VirtualBox. If you don't already have it installed, go to virtualbox.org and download the version for your operating system. Once downloaded, run the installer and follow the on-screen instructions. It's pretty straightforward. We need to download Fedora. Head over to the official Fedora website at fedoraproject.org. Here you'll see two main options, Fedora Workstation for desktops and Fedora Server. For this tutorial, we'll go with Fedora Workstation. Fedora comes with GNOME. If GNOME isn't your first choice, you know, you can download a spin of Fedora Desktop with an alternative desktop environment. Now that VirtualBox is installed, open it up and click on New to create a new virtual machine. If you begin typing Fedora in the name field, VirtualBox will automatically detect and apply the appropriate settings for the operating system. That said, you're not limited to naming it Fedora. Feel free to choose any name you prefer. The name is just for your reference, so pick something that works best for you. Next, browse to the Fedora I ISO you downloaded earlier and select it. For the version, choose Fedora 64-bit to successfully install and run uh, Fedora, a minimum of 20 gigabytes disk space and 2 gigabytes of RAM is required. However, for a smoother and more efficient user experience, it is recommended to allocate double these amounts. With these requirements in mind, I will proceed to create and configure the virtual machine accordingly. To make further configurations before you start the virtual machine, just click on Settings. Let me increase the memory to 3 gigabytes. If you have a multi-core CPU, it is recommended to assign two or more cores uh, for your virtual machine under Processor. Let's boot up the virtual machine. Click Start. Fedora will load into a live environment, select Start Fedora and press the Enter key. Double click Install Fedora to, to begin the installation. Follow the on-screen instructions, choose your language, set up your keyboard layout, and configure your time zone. When you get to the installation destination, select the virtual hard disk, 
we created earlier and click Done. Click Begin Installation. The installation is done. Just click on the Finish Installation. Remove the ISO image and reboot the virtual machine. Click on Start Setup. And there you have it, folks. You've successfully installed Fedora in VirtualBox, but I do not like the GNOME desktop myself. In the next video, I will show you how to install other desktop environments. This is a great way to explore Linux without affecting your main system. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech guides. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if there's a specific tutorial you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.